Hello, it's Mr. Giomini here with a little review for Lesson 1.8, Graphing on a Coordinate Plane. This is for my EDM students. This is also be a nice review for my pre-algebra kids. Uh, if you noticed yesterday, as Grace did, I wrote a nice function up here, and then the function in the table was actually had the opposite operation. So we'll have to pull that, or just maybe you can just watch it and see how teachers make mistakes as well as students so we're not we're not f flawless so taking a look today graphing on a coordinate plane we have done some coordinate plane work earlier in the year uh, this is also a, a skill that was taught and introduced in the fifth grade if not the fourth grade as well I like this coordinate plane here because it kinda has letters here to label the x-axis I think the x-axis I need to walk somewhere and then the y-axis is before I go up or down so I'm walking on the floor before I ever am able to go up or down the steps. So using this function y equals 2 times x plus 2 I'm going to plus, sub, substitute in some different x values into the function to get my y value which will then give me my ordered pair. So let's take a look at the first one. This one's telling me x is equal to 0. So I am trying to solve for y. So y is equal to 2 times, now I can substitute the x for 0 plus 2. Order of operations tells me to multiply before I ever add, so I have 2 times 0 is 0, plus 2 gives me 2. So I'm going to go over here. I know my x value was given to me, that was 0. My y value now using the function is 2. If I'm going to go and graph that now on my coordinate plane, I start at my origin. I notice I do not move anywhere on my origin or on my x axis so I just stay there and I go up to and I plot my first point. Next one we have a negative number x is now equal to negative 1 so y is equal to 2 times negative 1 plus 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 negative 2 plus 2. I owe you two dollars, I gave you two dollars, so now I owe you nothing. We are even. So again, to use my ordered pair, negative 1, 0. So if I go to graph that, starting my origin, my x value is negative 1, I'm going 1 to the left. Now it's 0, so I'm not going anywhere, I am staying put. So I'll graph that point, plot that point. My next one, the x value is negative 2. So substituting it into the function, I have now 2 times negative 2 plus 2. Order of operation tells me to multiply before I ever add. So I go 2 times negative 2. That gives me negative 4. I owe you $4. I have given you 2, so that means I still owe you $2 because I owe you that is a negative. So if I take a look... My ordered pair is x is equal to negative 2, y is also equal to negative 2. If I go to graph that, I start at my origin, I go 2 to the left because it's 0. Numbers that are less than 0 or negative are to the left of the number line. So I go negative 1, negative 2. I am going down two floors, so I am at negative 1, negative 2. I plot that point. I should begin to see some type of trend here that is occurring. I now look at my next function, and my next x value is negative 3. I go y is equal to 2 times, substitute in that x, substitute that x for a negative 3, and I add the 2. Okay, 2 times negative 3, a positive times a negative, is a negative. When a bad thing happens to a good person, that's a bad thing, so that's a negative. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 2, you owe me $6. You gave me 2. You still owe me $4. So that is a negative because you owe me. I go to create the ordered pair. I have x is equal to negative 3. y is equal to negative 4. Negative 3, negative 4. Okay, let's take a look. I go over on my x-axis. I start at my origin. I go over to negative 3, which again is to the left of 0, not to the right, to the left. 1, 2, 3. I am going down now 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. I plot my point. Finally, I have my last one. x is equal to negative 4. I'm going to substitute in that negative 4 for where I see the x. 
So now it becomes 2 times negative 4 plus 2. I go 2 times negative 4. A bad thing happens to a good person. That's a bad thing. I have negative 4 times 2. That's negative 8. Negative 8 plus 2. So I'm at negative 8 on my number line. I am now getting too closer to 0. Not too further away from 0, too closer to 0. So it would be negative 7, negative 6. I create my ordered pair now. Just are there to give me the x value, so that's nice. And we just solve for y. y is negative 6. I start at my origin. I'm going to negative 4 first. Again, if it's a negative on the x-axis, I have to go to the left. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. If it's a negative on the y-axis, I'm going downstairs, not upstairs. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. What I can now do is connect with a straight edge. I can kind of cheat on this. My points that I've just plotted. And there we are. And that is how you graph on a coordinate plane using a given function and also when you are given x values to substitute in for x. Hope this helps you out. Take care.